Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths video on constructions. Now what I mean by construction is to draw different configurations of uh, lines and points that match a certain property and we're going to use um, a straight edge and we're going to use this compass here in order to draw those. So I recommend that uh, you pause the video at various points and try to construct these yourself using your own compass and straight edge. And we're going to first construct the perpendicular bisector of two points. Now I'll explain what this means, but let's just say I have two points here. I've got a point here and I've got a point here. Now what I mean by perpendicular bisector is that if I have these two points here, if I was to draw a line connecting the two, to bisect something means to cut it in half. So it means we're going to cut it in half here and perpendicular means at right angles to. So this perpendicular bisector here is going to be at right angles to this line connecting the two points. And the way we construct that is to put our pointy bit on one of the points and then we put our compass just slightly over halfway and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw some arcs like this. And then putting your pointy bit at the other point, you do arcs again. You don't actually need to do this bit because we're not going to use it, but make sure it overlaps your other arcs. So you can see here where that arc and that arc overlap here. And what I'm then going to do is draw a line which connects these two intersecting points. If I do that, you can see now that this line is perpendicular to that connecting line there and it does cut it exactly in half. So that was a constructing a perpendicular bisector given two points. Now the second one here is the angle bisector of two lines. So if I've got two lines like this and this now to bisect something means to cut it in half, so I basically want to cut this angle in half and we're trying to find a line here, so the angle bisector is a line which cuts that angle exactly in half. Now what we do is we first put our pointy bit at the very corner of the two lines here and then keeping the compass the same length, I'm going to draw a little mini arc here and a mini little arc here and then I'm going to put my pointy bit where you drew that arc I'm going to draw another line and you shouldn't adjust the compass at any point of this and then put my pointy bit here and draw another arc here again not adjusting the compass ensuring that this length is the same and we can see there's a point of intersection there so I can then just join this point here and that point of intersection there with a nice line and that is our angle bisector. It's important to note, by the way, that you need to leave what we call our construction lines, these lines here, um, in the diagram. They're effectively your working, so you must leave them in the diagram in order to get credit for this, because otherwise you could have cheated by measuring this angle and then measured out half that angle. But that's then not constructing the diagram in the way that's expected using just a compass and a straight edge. Now we need to construct an equilateral triangle. Now this one is relatively easy. Let's just say I have an initial edge here, the bottom of my equilateral triangle. What I then do is I then put my pointy bit here and then I adjust my compass so it's the width of this line here. And then I do a nice clear arc here coming out like so from that point. And then from the other point, I'm putting my pointy bit on the other side of that line I then do another arc, making sure that it crosses over the previous arc. So I've got an arc there, arc there. And then that allows me to draw to that point of intersection a line going to here and a line going to here. And there we go. We've got a perfect equilateral triangle. The next one is to construct a regular hexagon. Now, this one's quite fun. Now, Put your compass to a, a certain distance, it doesn't really matter what, and then we're not going to adjust that distance at all for this whole question. So I'm first going to draw a circle using my compass, go all the way around. There we go, so we've got our circle, and do not adjust this compass, so leave it as it is. Now what we do is we just um, put our pointy bit at any point on the circle, 
and then we mark one side on the circle and the other side on the circle like that. And then we keep going. So putting out a pointy bit on one of those two arcs we drew, doesn't matter which one, we're then going to go back so we then get the original point we were at and then we can keep going round. So putting the pointy bit here again, do a little mark here and then pointy bit here, do another mark and then keep going. So put pointy bit here, another one here and then we can see that we've got six little arcs and we've got six points where those arcs meet the circle. So all we then need to do is then just join those up. So join this, join those two points up and these two points and hurrah, we have a perfect hexagon. We're next going to construct um, a triangle of sides six centimetres, eight centimetres and ten centimetres. So what I'm going to initially do is do my longest side of ten centimetres at the bottom. So measure out with my ruler. And let's mark that with ten centimetres. Now I want to get two lengths from this of eight centimetres and six centimetres. Now let's get the eight centimetre length first. So I want to do eight centimetres from this corner here, it doesn't really matter which side. But what I do is I measure my compass to be eight centimetres. So I've got the zero centimetre mark here, eight centimetre mark here. It's now at eight centimetres wide, my compass. And then all I do is I just do an arc. And what's nice is that any point on that arc is going to be exactly eight centimetres away from this point. So if I drew an edge to any point on that arc, I know it's going to be eight centimetres. Then I do the same from the other corner, but now I want just six centimetres. So if we do that to the six centimetre mark, and then we do an arc, and we only need to do the part of the arc that intersects the other arc. So it crosses it there. And then all I need to do is to just join this point to the point of intersection here, and this point of intersection to this remaining point. And that we know is eight centimetres because this point to any point on that arc we know is eight centimetres, and this point to any point on that arc we know is gonna be six centimetres. That's why it works. The next one, we want to construct angles of 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 90 degrees, and 45 degrees. So let's start with the 60 and the 30 degrees first. So let's just say I've got my bottom edge here and I want to construct an angle of 60 degrees from this point here. So this is very similar to constructing an equilateral triangle as we did earlier. So the way we did that is we put our pointy bit here, we measured the length of the line and then we just did an arc like that and then we did it from the other side. So putting our pointy bit at the other end of our line, you then do another arc and then all we need to do is just draw a line from this point here where we're interested in having the angle to that point of intersection. So it's exactly the same as before, except for we don't need this edge because we don't need to complete the triangle. We're only interested in this angle here of 60 degrees. Now, if we've got 60 degrees, how can we construct an angle 30 degrees? Now, 30 degrees is exactly half of 60. So all we need to then do is to bisect that angle. And we know how to construct the angle bisector. So we do what we did before. We put our pointy bit here on that point. It doesn't matter what this distance is as long as we keep it consistent from now on. We do a little arc here. We do a little arc here. And then keeping that length the same, we put our pointy bit here, arc here, pointy bit here, arc here, and then we can join up this point here to that point of intersection of those two arcs. And then we know that's going to be exactly half of 60, which is 30 degrees. Now we also want to construct an angle of 90 degrees and then half of that uh, using the angle bisector for 45 degrees. So if we do the same thing, we've got a line here and we want to construct an angle of 90 degrees at this particular point. Now the way we do it is we first extend out the line beyond the edge of this point. So if I put my ruler here, so it's exactly in line with this, and then I'm going to make that line a bit longer here, so extend it out there. So we've got a bit extra line around this point. Now what we do is we put our pointy bit here, and then it doesn't really matter the distance, I'm going to make an arc here, and then an arc on the other side intersecting with the line. 
So that's right to the end there. It doesn't have to be. I could have done the line a bit longer. Now, these two points are exactly the same distance from here because I used the same radius. What we could then do is we can construct the perpendicular bisector of these two points, and it will be a line going like this. And we know that the perpendicular bisector will be at right angles to this line, which is exactly what we want because we're constructing a 90 degree angle. So let's do that. So we remember we put the pointy bit at one of the points, and then usually we do an arc all the way around, but we're not, we don't need the part of the line there, so we're just going to do the top. So about two thirds of the way from here to here, we do an arc like that. And then putting the pointy bit here, we then do an arc like this. And then all we need to do, because we've got that point of intersection, is we just join up this point here to the point of intersection going through it. And that line should be exactly 90 degrees to that. So that is a right angle. We've constructed a 90 degree angle. And then we could again construct an angle bisector in order to get a 45 degree angle. So if we do what we did before, we put our point a bit there. It doesn't matter what the length is, we can now choose a different length, but we have to be consistent from now on. So an arc there, an arc there, and then put our pointy bit at that new arc we drew, arc like that, put our pointy bit at the new arc, another arc from there. And then all we need to do is to draw a line from this point here through that point of intersection of those two arcs, and that will be exactly 45 degrees. Now, final few ones, we want to construct the perpendicular to a line at a point on the line. Now, we've effectively just done that because uh, we had a line here, we constructed a 90 degree angle, and we just extended the line. So the scenario is if you have a line like this, it's already extended, and you're trying to construct the perpendicular at a given point, you just repeat this exact same process to get that 90 degree angle. But the last one's a bit different. Construct the perpendicular to a line at a point off the line. So this is where it's more interesting, but it's technically the same process. So if I draw a line, And now instead of a point on the line like I had here, I'm going to draw a point off the line like that. So I want to construct the perpendicular to this line, so a line that's at right angles to this line like that, but that goes through this point, so it's going to be that line there. And we do exactly the same as before. Do you remember I said you put your point a bit on there and we did an arc either side on the line? We're going to do the same. We're going to put our pointy bit on here, on that point, and we're going to do an arc either side on the line. So. If I do it far enough, so I've got an arc there, and I've got an arc here, and then, so we've got these two points here, and at that point we can do exactly what we did before, we find the perpendicular bisector of these two points here and here, where those arcs met the line. So let's do that, we put our pointy bit on the point here, and we go slightly over, about, slightly over halfway, about two thirds away. And then we can do an arc like this. And then from the other point, again, an arc, making sure it crosses the other arc here. And then I can just join this point here to that new point of intersection here. And that will be a right angle. And we can see, look, we've constructed a perpendicular, a line that's perpendicular to the original line that goes through this point.